Hey techies, welcome to Elfin Code. If you are new to the channel, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Today's topic is dictionary methods in Python. So we have divided this uh, topic into a uh, two part series. So do not forget to watch both the videos. This is the first part of the series and in this part we will be covering the below methods which is keys, values, items, pop, pop item and get. So let's begin with the first method which is keys. So as we all know a dictionary is a data structure which uh, has a data stored in the form of keys and values. Okay, so, so what will happen uh, when we use the keys method? So let's say we have a dictionary and we want to get a list of all the keys present in that dictionary. Dictionary. So to do that, we will be using the keys method. The syntax used for keys method is dictionary name dot keys. So what this this uh, syntax will do is basically it will uh, output the list of all the keys present in the dictionary. So let's have a look at a few examples. So here uh, we have this example. Uh, there is a student dictionary and uh, here we have keys, uh, which is name, class, grade. These are the keys of the dictionary and each of this um, key has a certain value. So the name key has the value Tina and so on. So now when we um, use the method keys, which is student dictionary dot keys, we can see that we are getting an output with the list of all the keys present in the dictionary. So uh, this was the example. Uh, we have another example here. Now we can see the, here we have dictionary of dictionary present. Um, so uh, let's say now here we are trying to output the keys of this next nested dictionary. So we will be getting the list of the uh, dictionary values which is dict1 and dict2 and not the key1 and key2. The second method is the values method. Okay, so uh, how in the first method we were getting list of keys present in a dictionary. Using the values method, we will be getting a list of all the values present in the dictionary. The syntax used for values method is dictionary name dot values. So let's have a look at a few examples. Again, we have taken the same student dictionary uh, it, uh, with the keys name, class and grade and values as Tina 8 and 40. So when we try to uh, write student dictionary dot values, it is is going to give a list of all the values in the dictionary which is Tina 8 and 40. Similarly, if we uh, try this uh, method for a nested dictionary, so uh, here we have a dictionary in, in dictionary. So here we will be getting the output as this is one uh, value which is key value and key one value one and key two value two is the another value. So we will be getting the list of these values in the output. The third method uh, is items method. So each key value pair in a dictionary is called as a item. So when we, uh, you know, um, try to uh, use the items method, it is going to return uh, like a tuples uh, of each of the key value pair item. So let's have a look. The uh, syntax for it is dictionary dot items. Here again, we have an example student dictionary with keys as name, class, grade, values as Tina 814. When we are now using student dictionary dot items, we can see we are getting a list output. Inside list, we have multiple tuples and in each of the tuple, it is like a key and its value, key and its value and key and its value. So name is the key. Tina is the value. So uh, it is a list of tuples which we will be getting as an output uh, when we are using the items method. The fourth method is pop method. Uh, okay, now let's say we have to remove a certain uh, item from the dictionary. So for that purpose, we will be using pop method. In pop, we can specify a, a key basically because keys will be unique for the dictionary. So we will specify the key uh, to remove that uh, key value pair from the dictionary. So this is the syntax dictionary name dot pop and the key which uh, you need the key value pair which you need to pop of that key you, uh, you need to specify here in the parenthesis so here now we have taken a nested dictionary example 
in this example we can see dictionary one is the key and this key value uh, dictionary is like the value part so here when we are using pop method on this nested dictionary and the key which we have specified is dictionary one so uh, the output in the output we can see this entire section uh, is like removed it is popped out and the only part remaining is the dictionary two key value pair in the output again we have one more example now let's say uh, we are trying to remove a element which is not present in the dictionary so what will happen so here if, for example we can see in the nested dictionary we are trying to pop any random value which is not present in the nested dictionary so it is going to throw an error key error that this uh, key is actually not available into the nested dictionary the last uh, method which we will be seeing in today's uh, video is pop item so pop item is kind of similar to pop but in pop uh, like we are able to specify which uh, key like which key value pair which we need to we need to uh, remove pop item is basically like it is going to remove the last key value pair uh, available in the dictionary the syntax for it is dictionary name dot pop item now here is again we have taken the same example of student dictionary in this we can see that grade key with the value 40 is the last uh, item of the dictionary so when we use the uh, uh, syntax student dictionary dot pop item it is going to uh, remove or pop the last item which is grade colon 40 from the dictionary so here we can see the same thing in the output okay so there is one more method uh, which we will be to, uh, seeing in today's uh, video which is the get method so get method is basically used to return the value of a specified key of the dictionary so dictionary name dot get key let's say uh, there are multiple keys in the dictionary and we want to extract value of a certain key then for that purpose we will be using the get method syntax is dictionary name dot get of key okay so there is the same example we are seeing let's say now we want to extract uh, the value of the key name so how we will be doing it output is student dictionary dot get and in the bracket we are going to mention the key for which we uh, want to extract the value so using this uh, like we can see in the output we are getting the value of the key name Again, here we have one more uh, example, which is like a nested dictionary. So here first we have tried to extract the value of key one. Now this is not possible because key one is not the actual key of the nested dictionary. The actual keys of the nested dictionary is dictionary one and dictionary two. So uh, if we are using get for key one, we can see that we are getting none output. However, if we are using the get method for the keys of the dictionary, which is dictionary one, then we can see we are getting the value of that uh, key. Elfing quiz of the day. In the context of the get method, for dictionaries, what does it return if the specified key is not found? A, none, B, key error, C, zero, D, false. Please provide your answer in the comment section. Thank you. So that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe Elfin Code for future updates.